Hey everybody, it's the Electrocutioner. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. In the last episode, we went to the movie theater and watched Meltdown, which is the movie Michael's the associate producer of, as you know. Uh, so yeah, we watched that, and it's pretty terrible, but hey, at least Michael's doing something with his life now with, with that. So yeah, I'm happy for him. Uh, we also drank whiskey at Michael's house. A beer at Trevor's house and wine at um, Franklin's house. So, yeah, that was. I don't know why I wanted to do that. Just wanted to do it for, for some freaking reason. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Vinewood Tours, which is new to me. I've never done it before, so it's going to be quite the experience. Um, so, yeah, let's go and get started, I guess. It's just up here. All right. Excuse me for one second. I'm back. Sorry about that. Triangle to enter the tour bus as a passenger. The tour costs forty dollars. What an idiot! What are you doing back there? Coming through my controller. I'll get it to where you can hear that. I, didn't, I thought it would come through the TV screen, but I guess not. Now, to... Wood is often referred to as the anal bleaching capital of the world. Nice to know. On your right, you'll see the world famous Gentry Manor Hotel, a legendary party hangout for actors and rock stars and people trying to have sex with actors and rock stars. Built in 1921. It's been the scene of some classic Vinewood scandals over the years. One of my personal favorites was Al DiNapoli's overdose in 2002 after a chimpanzee blasted an eight ball up his rear door with a water pistol. <laughs> Fantastic! They say that on any given day there are at least two dead party girls in the trash cans round back. Isn't that great? No. Okay, smartphones at the ready, celeb spotters. We are now approaching the legendary nightclub, The Dungeon Crawler. Opened in 1996, the club is famously owned by actor Bruce Spade, who has a custom-built elevated VIP table so that he looks the same height as everyone else. It remains one of Vinewood's hottest night spots for the rich and famous to do drugs and date rape impressionable fans. Play your cards right, and that could be you! The Dungeon Crawler was in the news again recently when comedian Morgan Chester allegedly ran over a doorman in his SUV for not laughing at one of his jokes. Oh, and now a treat for you closet glam rockers on board. We're coming up to the infamous Tequila La Rock Bar. Back in the day, this was a restaurant run by the mob until it got shut down over the Adam's Apple in the Soup controversy of 1982. It reopened as the Tequila La Bar in 1983 and soon became a mecca for hair metal bands and fans from across the country. It's rumored that the Love This song Dangerous Bastards was written about a night they partied here on Mescaline with some transgender twins. Now this house up ahead is one of the many private residents of action movie director Mark Faustenberg. Fostenberg still maintains he was out of town when a 15-year-old Mexican girl was found dead in his pizza oven in 2007. The case was settled out of court and all charges were dropped. The girl's family now live on the next street. So this is the house of television exercise guru The Craze. You might have seen him degrading himself recently on Rehab Island. Do any of you remember the 80s? Huh, <laughs> strange times. People didn't go to the gym back then. They did jumping jacks in front of the TV in leg warmers and headbands. The craze swapped his gold lame leotard for a crack pipe in the 90s, but is reportedly now clean and in the best shape of his life. That's Vinewood's code for, <laughs> he's trying to make a comeback. This is the home of celebrity wild child Martha Term. Daughter of 70s comedy star Joni Term, Martha spent her teens partying on booze, her early 20s partying on coke, and her mid-20s staring at her shoes on heroin. Her tell-all autobiography about the 
difficulties of growing up really rich in Vinewood only sold 30 copies last year. Just up ahead is another place to see and be seen in Rockford Hills, the Richmond Hotel. An iconic entertainment industry hangout, sleazy producer types have been promising to make young girl stars here for over a hundred years now. Not gonna lie, I did some shameful things in that lobby bar in my youth, but I've put that period of my life behind me now. I was a member of the jury in the 1991 movie Last Will and Testament. They, they cut my line.
where Delancey Medua's septum fell out after a ketamine party.
Don't you just love people you've never met and would have you arrested if you came within 10 feet of them? From 12 o'clock to like to like 9 or something. 12 o'clock in the afternoon to like 9 o'clock at night or something like that. You know. And I apologize. It was long and you know dude it took so I mean I, I guess I could have. There was buttons like to go to first person to skip to the next destination to exit the the, the tour. So I guess I could have skipped to each destination. So I guess the the long drawn outness was kind of my fault, but hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I know it was the most exciting thing. And during that tour, I was gonna mention this later, but I think I'll probably forget it, so I'm gonna mention it now. During that tour, I realized just how stupid the AI in this game is. Like the driving AI. Like people running into us like You know, like a there was a white car who ran into us, trying to get into the far left lane. Like, like what the freak? And like the bus running into a truck because it needed to get over, and it it doesn't just stop and wait there. It runs into the freaking truck. You know, 
And like the bus, the bus stopping when it was a green light. There was a green light and the bus stopped. It was like, dude, the light is green. Go. And another one is like the light was red and the bus drove. It was like the the light's red, but okay. It's like during that tour, I realized just how stupid the driving AI in this game is. I love this game, but the driving AI, I just realized, you know, it's very stupid. The, 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 the AI, the AI in this game in general is kind of stupid. I mean, I love this game, but I'll be the first to admit the AI in this game generally, gener generally is pretty stupid. And during that tour is when I realized that the driving AI is very, very stupid. Like the bus, the bus stopping when it was a green light and it going when it was a red light and it like running into a truck, you know, for no reason and like cars running into us to try to get, you know, into other lanes. Like, yeah, during that tour is when I realized just how stupid the driving AI is, you know? Like, I never noticed how stupid it was before, but during that tour, I'm like, man, the driving AI is very freaking stupid. The main, I love this game, but the AI in general is just stupid. But the driving AI, you know, I, I just realized how dumb it was. But, um, anyways, though, um, there you go. That was the Fine Wood Tours, guys. And it was very drawn out, and I apologize. Uh, I guess that was, like I said, that was partially my fault because I could have skipped to each each destination. So the drawn outness was kind of my fault. I apologize, but um, yeah, the tour itself, like, it's, I, I, I kind of, I wanted to show you guys the whole thing. I, I didn't know it was going to be that long, you know. I didn't know it was going to be that long. I, I wanted to show you guys the whole thing, and I was like, this is much long. It was much longer than I expected. You know, it, it was just, you know, very long, you know. It, like I said, went from 12 in the afternoon to, like, 9, 9 o'clock at night. Like, like, very freaking long, you know. And I guess that was partially my fault because I could have skipped to each, des each destination. But I wanted to show you guys the whole thing. And it was much longer than I expected. So, yeah much longer than I expected like very long and drawn out but I hope you guys still enjoyed it anyway um I hope you guys didn't get too bored and you heard some background noise I'm sorry about that but um hopefully you know, hopefully you guys don't mind but um anyways in this video I was also going to uh fill out the entire map and get the trophy for doing so. Like these white areas, you travel over them and they, like, they don't, they become not white anymore. And I thought you got a trophy for filling out the entire map. These parts and even like the sides and stuff, yeah, filling out the entire map. I thought you got a trophy for that, but apparently you do not. Apparently you do not. There's this trophy right here. San Andreas Sightseer. Explore all of Los Santos and Blaine County. There's that trophy, but there's not a trophy for filling out the entire map. Which I thought there was, but apparently there's not. There's just this one for exploring, exploring all of Los Santos and Blaine County. So... Yeah, even though it look even though it would look cool to get the entire map filled out, I'm not going to continue to fill it out because there's no trophy for doing like for filling the entire map out. There's no trophy for that. I thought there was, but there's not. So, I'm not going to continue filling the map out, you know. But I I will I will get some trophies in this episode. We're going to get TP Industries Arms Race. Purchase McKenzie Field Hanger and win the arms race. We're going to get that. I, I need to get this one on, on the PS5 here. Arcadis Accolade. De deliver an unsuspecting victim to the Arcadis Cult. Pimp my sidearm. Fully modded weapon. 
and Los Santos Customs fully mod a vehicle. So we're going to get... I think that's all, right? Yeah. So we're going to get that one, that one, uh, this one, and this one. So yeah, we, even though, like I said, if there was a, a trophy for, um, for filling out the entire map, I would definitely do it. But there's not. There's one for exploring all of Los Santos and Blaine County, but there's not one for filling out the entire map. So I'm not going to continue to fill it out. Even though, even though it would be cool to have it all filled out, I'm not going to, there's no point really. But we will get those, we will get those trophies I just mentioned. We will get those this episode. So, yeah. Um, so I gotta switch to Trevor here real fast. Mackenzie Field Hanger is over here. Over here. This is Mackenzie Field Hanger. 150,000. So we're gonna go purchase that. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, here we go, guys. Mackenzie, filled hangar. 150,000, income 5,000 per ground shipment, 7,000 per air shipment. Press right to purchase. Cha-ching. There we go. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? Oh, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro. You know. I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds are not supplying the arms to Mexican criminals, so someone's got to snap it. Oh, yeah. They need guns, bro. So many guns. Luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom gift to the world. Huh? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, this going to be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export store. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great. All right, you have purchased McKenzie Field Hanger. The business will transport and collect weapons in and out of San Andreas. We receive 5,000 per ground shipment and 7,000 per air shipment, plus a bonus for good work. Oh, ain't that nice. Enter the plane or the buggy to deliver shipment. So the buggy is for ground, planes for air. $150,000. McKenzie Field Hanger property purchase. So we can do this. We can actually buy this as soon as we get done with uh, Nervous Ron. We can buy, start to buy, buy, prop, buy properties. We can buy this one straight away. Trevor can now do air and ground shipment trapping emissions available at Bleh and Bleh. Okay. So the trophy. Uh, let me look. Okay. So the trophy is. Purchase McKenzie Field Hanger and win the arms race. Oh, no. Let's go back to the actual game. Win the arms race. Now, I'm assuming... Like, you, like, have to get to the arms before other people do. I assume that's what it means. But we'll see. Do a couple... So, I'm sitting in a go-kart with nowhere to go. That's an all-terrain vehicle fitted with GPS tracking system, CB radio. That'd be the radio we're talking on, Matt. We use this to pick up the shipments. There's a plane making a drop soon near a mobile home off East Joshua Road. Make it fast. Those rednecks are just sniffing around. I think you'll find rural American is the politically correct term. And I think the cops got eyes on us, so try to avoid the main road. Okay. Is what? there anyone who doesn't know about this? Weapons drop location has been marked on the radar. Avoid using main roads to avoid the cops. Staying on the roads too long will trigger a cop response. So yeah, you just gotta stay off the main road. Basically go on side roads or on the grass. Whatever works, uh, you know. 
whatever works. But yeah, there's other people like wanting this stuff, so you got to get there first. You can see where the yellow smoke is. We'll actually get off right here and not run into the tree, hopefully. There's the the error. There's the plane that dropped it off. Trevor Phillips. I'll be fine. Oh, really? 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 Garbage, man. Garbage. Garbage. So I'm sitting in the Are you kidding me? With nowhere to go. Okay. Go to the package, drive to it, or walk package up to it. Board. And then there you go. And it goes in the vehicle, and then you drive away with it. Drive back to the hangar. Right back to the airfield. So you drive or walk near it, and uh, you pick it up, and it you don't carry it back to the the car. It's automatically back in there. And there was no guys this time, surprisingly. So yeah, roads like this are fine. You just avoid the main roads as much as possible. Well, like I said, you just drive on the grass. You can do that as well. So yeah. I didn't mean to Am I stuck? Am I stuck? This game ain't freaking serious right now, is it? This game is freaking serious. This game is freaking serious right now. This game is so stupid. Like, you saw that. Come on. Okay, here we are. Drive back to the airfield, and that's it. Pass. Ground trafficking. 5,000. Weapons collected. Uh, pistol. Okay, cool. Nice. We also do air shipments, but I don't really feel like it. Ground shipments are better. Screw the air shipments. But yeah, um... Freaking blew that buggy up after we got stuck. I blew it up, by the way. Now I don't. I don't know what this means by arms race, man. TP Inter Enterprises arms race and win win the arms race. Does that mean do all of them? Or just do one of each. I don't know. I guess we could do the first air shipment. I mean, the first air, the first one's not that bad. So I guess we could do the first one. But if I fail once, I'm not trying it again. I'm just gonna let you guys know Oscar. that right now. Tango, Foxtrot, Whiskey, Oscar. Hey, oh, but you're on the edge. I like that. Because it looks like it was made by a child for a school project. Hey, 
Deliver arms packages to the drop off locations. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I know what to do, Fricker. So the first one ain't too bad. I don't know if it means the arms race, I don't know if it means. doing one of each or doing all of them. If it's doing all of them, then <laughs> we're not we're not getting the trophy there. I, I don't care. And like I said, if I fail this once, I'm not trying it again. Just to let you guys know. Raider will indicate drop zone range. Okay. So when we get to this area, we'll have a range of where we can drop a package. If drop it outside that range, we, uh, we have to start over, or we don't. We have to drop it again. X, nice. Package right on target. That's what I like to hear. And it's like um. It's like a win thing. Like you have to drop it like on the the start of the circle to get it in there basically. Yeah. Because you have to account for the wind. It's kinda like uh Cata Libra that mission. Before we get before Michael and Trevor get exiled from the city. Where you shoot the plane down you have to account for the the wind and the um you have to account for the wind and the uh, distance of the plane. Right here, you have to account for the same thing. Well, just the wind, but yeah, you get it. So I would suggest do it at the beginning of the circle. Right here would be good. Yeah. Another package received. Oh yeah, that's all the drops done. Come on home now. All right, land the plane at the airfield. All good, sir. Oscar de Onde, compadre. Hey, I didn't know you spoke a real language. What do you mean, real language? Namuna, mamada, yama, mamacita. Shit, man! Do you even know what you're saying? I learned everything I know from some lovely ladies just south of the border. How long you been up here anyway? You seem to know your way around. Maybe five years on and off. I pretty much stay north now. Too much competition. I have to stay visible. And you? I mean, even I know that ain't a San Andrean accent. Sandy Shores, few years. Self-destructive right-wing misfits, mad guns, incest. Closest I could find to the Midwest. Okay, let me turn the plane a little bit. I also gotta rev the engines just a little bit. Okay, this one, first one's not too bad, but the other ones can suck it. Alright, not too bad. We gotta taxi the plane into the hangar. Just don't get the friggin' plane stuck or whatever, because it happens way easier than it should. Air trafficking, okay. Accurate drop bonus, 125. Total earned, 7,125. Okay, not bad. Pretty good amount of money, haha. <laughs> I would love to have seven thousand dollars. That'd be great. But yeah. Anyways, though, 
Now, I have to look this up or something, I guess. Because I don't know what the... I don't know. Maybe when the people are, like, racing for the arms. Maybe that's when you get the achievement. but Or the trophy, rather. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's when you get the uh, the trophy. Um, when you um, when like there there will be ground shipments where people are racing to get the arms, and you have to beat them to it. And if they get it, you have to actually chase them down to get it back from them or whatever. Maybe that maybe let's talk about that. Like beat them to the arms. Maybe let's talk about that. Or maybe you have to do all of, all of them and like all the air and ground shipments. And if that's the case, we're not getting the trophy. So yeah, maybe I'll try it again at the end of this video, but for now I'm going to move on. For for now I'm going to move on. So the next thing is bring an unsuspecting victim to the Arcanist cult. And we just drive around near um Trevor's house. There's a random like there's two people that want to go to a hotel to do stuff. You know, I haven't gotten that one yet, so I can do that one pretty easily. So I'll, I'll see you guys when I get there. Take you to blacked out young lovelies. We stay at the hotel southwest from here. Thank you so much. All right, Ark is cold. It is way up here. I guess I'll. Okay, I'll either have, like, cut, cut up some of this, but the whole world. If I didn't have to work for a living, I would just play with them all day. Oh, you're so bad. Oh, that tickles. I mean. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be doing something in a second. If you don't want to see it, I, I I recommend just skipping ahead in the video. Yeah, you like that? Just wait till we get back to the motel. Mm, I'm going to get medieval on those puppies. And I would really love to turn on some music right now, but uh, whatever. Oh, God, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. You smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making me so horny. Come on. Give me a slice of that giblet pie. Oh my goodness. What are crazy kids doing back there? I'll tell you what, while you're sweeping the front porch, why don't I work on her back plumbing? Huh? What did you say? How about I suck those kidney stones right out of your balls, big guy? Get this party really started. Uh, wow, wow, okay, man, it's cool, it's cool. Stop. Alright, coyote, 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 definitely a coyote. Indeed it is. I guess I'll just leave the whole thing in. Didn't I tell you this would be the- Whoa! I don't remember it being this far away. I know, I don't recognize it. Trevor freaked out and he almost hit a car. And, you know, when they almost hit his like, Oh, that was close. So that's why he freaked out. I was like, whoa, whoa! We never made it back without this guy. Didn't I tell you this would be the best birthday ever? I'm so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, you save your energy for the motel room. Forty bucks a night, we're gonna get our money's worth. It's a cheap hotel room. 
Yeah, never would have made it back without me, that's for sure. Because I don't remember it being this way, guys. So yeah, they never would have made it back without Trevor. That is for dang sure. They don't remember the hotel being this way. But it is, trust me. It is, guys. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Get him. Ten points! Yep. And there's a freaking female deer back over there. Dope. Ah, through the tunnel, huh? We go through this tunnel a good bit. Like, like twice in the... Well, not a good bit, I guess. Like, Lamar down and if you're riding with, um, uh, what is it? If you're riding with Lester and Michael in the Plato score setup, yeah. Those two times you go through this tunnel. And you even go through it in the credits if you wait long enough. Get up here. Taken us too far, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our hotel wasn't up a mountain. Ah, don't worry. Just wanted to show you Lovebird's the most romantic little spot in the whole county. <laughs> now you're talking. What do you say, babe? Hmm? Start our little nature documentary out here? I don't know. I just want to go home now. Oh, you'll love this place. We'll really bring you close together. Yep, I'm sure it will. It takes forever to get up here, but uh, here it is, guys, the Arcanist Colt. Here we are, the hotel. I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. So it is, so it is. See the body? Take the gold. Alright. Arcanist. Accolade. Trophy earned. Alright, you get a thousand bucks for every person you bring up here. Actually, we got two thousand because there was two of them. So, yeah. Here's the Arcanist cult, guys. It uh, takes forever to get up here, but this is it. And if you bring enough people up here, Trevor will actually get kidnapped himself. And you'll have to shoot all the people in there. Which, just like the Vinewood Tours and, you know... Right, you know, just like the Vinewood Tours, I've never done that. I could, I guess, but I, I pretty, pretty much have to start a new game, and I don't have time for that right now, <laughs> you know? I don't have time for that right now. Maybe we'll come back, maybe we'll come back at a later point and do that. I'm not too sure. But anyways, the next achievement is, uh, or trophy, is to fully... Fully um, mod a weapon. So, you know, and then fully mod a vehicle. So those are the next two trophies. So I'm going to do those as Franklin. So let me go and switch to uh, Franklin right now. In his house. Because, you know, why not? So I need some more ammo. Okay, need some more. I need some more rockets with Trevor, and I need some more with uh, Michael as well. Uh, but I guess I'm going to be pimping out the carbine rifle uh, after I take this taxi job. Hi, uh, Mr. Clinton. Sorry to bother you, but we have a young lady asking for a driver who's really got his finger on the pulse of Los Santos, and you're the only guy I can think of. Are you busy right now? I'll take it. Yeah, I should be able to handle that. She's at the Galileo Observatory on Galileo Avenue in Vinewood Hills. Thanks for this. Well, I guess I'll see you guys up there. Weapon. 
I guess I'm gonna pimp out the uh, assault rifle there. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the observatory. Okay, so, um, here we are. Hello? Hi, can you take me to a decent clothes store? Hi! Pick the best, best clothing store. Now, trust me, you won't, um, pawn... I think this one is the one you want. You have that, Suburban, the discount store. I think this is the one you want. Because there's a right and. They're well, the best clothing store, so Any that one. Store? Shit, what exactly are you looking for? You tell me. The taxi depot said you were the guy in the know. I need something to wear for this big meeting I've got coming up. I'm pitching a movie idea to some studio execs. Alright, I think I got a couple of options for you. Oh, thanks. So it says the best clothing store, and she's looking for something for a meeting to po to, um... <sighs> Frick, what's it called? <sighs> Whatever. Pitch. She's gonna pitch an idea to somebody, you know, and so she... She needs, it says the best clothing store, and she needs to wear something for a meeting to pitch an idea to somebody. So, uh, so the best option is, is, uh, pas, pan, sad, pan, sabis. Close enough. Thank you. I'm still new in town. I only moved to Los Santos last month. I think that if you're really serious about getting into the industry, you have to be LS-based. This is huge for me. I've been reworking this screenplay for eight years now. I can't reveal too much, but it's going to completely redefine the science fiction slash erotic genre. That's a genre? It will be by now this presentation. I need a look that screams powerful, independent woman, but still vulnerable and prepared to do anything to get ahead. A little bit school teacher, a little bit school girl. A hint of their mother, but not too much. That's what men want, right? Gee, a hint of my mother would be a dime bag and a blowtorch. Oh, wow. That's raw. I feel your pain. My mother is really a metaphor for the struggles of growing up middle class during the economic boom of the 90s. I'm going to use it to heal. All right. I can't believe my love. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I'm out at a bar, get talking to this older guy, and guess what? Turns out he's a big movie producer who thinks I have got huge potential. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those around. Well, I'm meeting him at his apartment. Apparently, he only invites girls there if he's serious about taking it to the next level. Gee, this sounds like I should be taking you to an emanation instead of a clothes store. No, he was definitely legit. Really seemed to believe in my talent. Still, you watch yourself, all right? Don't worry about me. I've got some streaks. I did three years of undergrad in Liberty City. So, do you want to hear the plot of the movie? I thought you couldn't reveal too much. I'll just give you the skeleton synopsis. Okay, so we open on an alien life form, vibe TBD, on board a space shuttle hurtling towards Earth. After the alien makes it to Earth, takes the body of an exotic dancer, played by yours truly, and searches for a male to mate with. She wants to create a baby, and eventually a whole master race of damaged, dysfunctional alien stripper kids. Working title, UFO. Whoa, I gotta be honest, I'll watch it. It's a genre mashup. Movie execs love those. I'm going to walk in there and be like, okay guys, before I say anything, I want you to think Shoulder of Orion meets Shorehorn. You're not going to steal my idea, are you? Because I, I haven't registered it with the guild yet. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not going to steal that idea. Pawn Snobbies. So, will this work for you? Looks awesome. Thank you so much. You watch yourself at that meeting, all right? Alright, so this is the right one. Yeah, she needs something, yeah. 155, fair, 62, okay. 
$717. Very cool. But yeah, she needed, you know, go to the best clothing store. And she, you know, she, she, needs, she needs something for this meeting. It says, go to the best clothing store. And she needs something for this meeting. She, cause she's like pitching an idea to somebody. Uh, so yeah, pawn, sn pawn snobbies. Pawn snobbies. Or however you say it. Pro probably butchering it. I'm probably, I'm probably not saying it right, but you know. Whatever. Anyways, off to ammunition to fully mod a weapon. If you remember, that's where we that clothing store is actually where we got our tuxedo in um in melt the meltdown or the mission meltdown. That clothing store is actually where we got our tuxedo for that. So that's cool. Anyways, what my okay carbine rifle? Good. I'm gonna for, fully mod this thing. I also sell a kit for filing off serial numbers. Okay, so just get everything, huh? Okay, extended clip, grip, flashlight, scope. Presser. Oh. I don't, I'm not even gonna, I don't even know. You, use for Emmer luxury finish? My goodness. And we got 20 million dollars, so this ain't a problem for us to do this at all. Army tent. Green tent. Orange tent. We okay. We do everything. Okay. Green tent. Orange tent. This tent. LSPD tent. Oh, interesting. Pink tent. Gold tent. Platinum tent. Carbine rifle upgrades. Oh. Well, when the end time comes. I'd rather be holding a piece than a peace sign. So, what are we... Deep. Oh. Let me look at that freaking achievement, dude. Fully mod a weapon. Mod? What is that? What is that supposed to mean? I thought we were doing that right now. Now you are prepared against government tyranny. Extended clip, scope, flashlight, grip suppressor. We have to do that with the assault rifle too? What's going on here? Extended clip, grip, flashlight, scope, suppressor, finish, army tent, green tent, orange tent, LSPD tent, pink tent, gold tent, platinum tent. Okay, the frick man, fully mod one what? All right, it's so so freaking stupid, dude. Fully mod a weapon. Was this fully modded vehicle's not gonna do it either? 
don't get it, man. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. Okay, is that strike pull? Pimp my sidearm, trophy earned. Okay, um. So I see what happened there. We had to have all three weapons in one section here, like. This one with the assault, assault rifle, we also had to have the carbine rifle and the advanced rifle and fully, fully mod them all. So we had to mod all of the guns in one section. Okay, I, I see. I see, okay. I gotcha. So we had to have every weapon in one section and then fully mod them all. Okay, I got you. So it had to be, we had to have every weapon in one section. And mod and fully mod them all to get that trophy. Okay, I got you now. I got you. I was like, what? What the frick's happening? I got everything. I was like, oh, I need to do it to the other weapon too. Okay, I did that. That didn't work. So I, you know what? Let's buy the. Let's buy the. Cause it like, it was like in a row in the sh in the ammunition. The three weapons in that slot were uh like in a row together on the wall so you know what i was like you know what let's buy this one too and fully mod that and once i did i got the trophy so yeah you just had to get all the weapons in that slot and fully mod them all okay so i was confused about that but now i get it now i get it okay all right well just spent a lot of money but we have freaking over 20 million dollars so it's uh, not a problem at all. So we got the advanced rifle with extended, with extended clip, flashlight, scope, and suppressor. Assault rifle with the same thing. And carbine rifle. We got, a, we got all three of those. The extended clip. Wait, something's missing here. Ah, there's no grip. There's no grip on this one. Okay. There's no grip on this one. Okay, so, yeah, there you go, guys. Very nice. And we got the advanced rifle, which I've uh, never had before, so it's that's pretty cool, you know. That's pretty, pretty cool that we got that. Anyways, um, the next trophy is to fully mod a vehicle. So let me go ahead and do that. I guess we'll do it with Franklin's car. Hey, I said we, I said we were gonna get the last two achievements with him. So yeah, I'll go ahead and mod it. I'll go ahead and mod Franklin's car. Nearest emulate, uh, nearest Los Santos Customs is this one. Meet you guys over there. Okay, guys, I found out what uh, the achievement for. I went the wrong way. I found the achievement for like uh, win the arms race. You have to do all of the air shipments and all the ground shipments. And screw that. Screw that. So we're not getting that trophy. But we are going to go get this one. We have to fully customize, fully mod this car here. First of all, repair. This is going to be a lot of money. Alright, armor upgrade... Uh, 100%. I wonder if that counts. And I guess we'll find out. Brakes. Straight brakes. Sport brakes. Race brakes. Bumpers? Front bump bumpers. Oh, frick, it's cool. Ah! Nah. We can get both. That's cool. Rear bumpers. Sports. Custom. Let's do sports. Wonder if you have to get all the ones that cost money. We'll find out. EMS upgrade level four. 
exhaust race exhaust yes no dual titanium exhaust grill exposed inner cooler now that cost a job hood oh yeah that one if that car was a woman i guess her. standard truck a cop i mean lights headlights xeon lights neon kits neon color purple plate okay yellow on, yellow on black okay let's do yellow on black I guess respray primary color chrome this looks awesome why not Secondary color, chrome. Yeah, just make it all chrome, I guess. That'd be fun. Roll cage? Roll cage and classic. Oh, yeah. Roof. Stock roof. Sun strip. Carbon. Kind of like that. Skirts. Okay, custom skirts. Carbon skirts. Looking sharp. Yeah, the carbon skirts. Spoiler? None. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Suspension. I guess competition suspension. Perfect suspension. Transmission. Race short. Turbo. Turbo tuning. Wheels. Wheel type. High end. <coughs> Shadow. Oh yeah. Very cool. Yeah, GT Chrome looks good to me. Tires. Tire smoke. I thought yellow. Bulletproof tires. Windows. Limo. Yeah. Okay, fully modded car must mean get everything that costs money. Okay, guys. Now, now I got pretty much the same stuff I got last time I even changed the I got custom tires and changed the rim color as you can see all right Los Santos customs trophy earned so yeah I learned that you have to drive out of the garage to in order to uh, get the achievement but yeah there you go guys very cool <laughs> honestly I like the way it looks a lot like the chrome and everything. Purple lights underneath. The rims are blue. We got custom tires. 
Freaking yellow on black license plate. The freaking the blue exhaust or whatever. Bulletproof tires. And like the chrome, like the back here. I forget what this thing's called. It's like raised up. And like the, yeah, the chrome finish. The black, you know, it looks very nice, honestly. It honestly looks very nice. Oh, yeah. And yellow tire smoke as well. So, yeah, I, I like what we did with this a lot, honestly. Uh, the minus 700 is still up there. But don't worry about that. But yeah, I like what we did with this. It's very, very nice. Very, very cool looking. Our headlights are also blue. Very nice. You see that? Very cool. So yeah, I like what we did with this a lot. This is really cool. I spent a lot of money, but we're still over 20 million. Now, I, I like re... I like loaded the save here. Because I like bought every like on respray I bought every color for some reason and that you know doing that among you know doing that and like purchasing the stuff afterwards put me under 20 million so I loaded the save and got all the stuff I got again I got that stuff again and uh, yeah because I, I wanted to stay I wanted to stay over 20 million I, I wanted to I wanted to stay over 20 million and yeah for some reason I bought all the colors on respect on respray and doing that and buying some stuff afterwards got you know that 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 made me that made me go under 20 million and I wanted to stay above that so I loaded the save again and yeah I got all the stuff you know then I was above 20 million again and and now getting all the stuff that I got before, not buying all the freaking colors for whatever reason. I am I am now over 20 million again. I am now over 20 million again. You know. I am now over 20 million again. So, yeah, that's good. And yeah, I, I like what we've done with this freaking car. I like what we've done with this car a lot. You know. Like the chrome and stuff looks really nice. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I got San Andreas Sightseer on my own time. We couldn't get TP Industries Arms Race because that in, that requires you to get all the air and ground shipments. So, screw that. So, I guess we're not getting a, that achievement because screw doing all that. But we got Arcadist Aculide to deliver an unsuspecting victim to the Arcadist Cult. Pimp my sidearm, fully modded weapon. Los Santos Customs, fully modded vehicle. So we got those three achievements there. Sorry, sorry we couldn't get the fourth one there. But, um, hey, uh, doing all that is like, frick off, dude. I, 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 ain't get, I ain't doing all the air and ground shipments. Frick that. I mean, ground shipments are fine, but air shipments, no. They, they suck. The first one's not that bad, but the other ones suck. So yeah, sorry, sorry I couldn't get that achievement, but uh, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. I hope you guys understand. But uh, yeah. Anyways, though. Let's go take this back to Franklin's house and... Uh, I guess that will be it for now, guys. I guess that will be it for now. All right, guys, here we are back at Franklin's house. So, guys, that's uh, it for now. Sorry for a long video. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't have an excuse. Just sorry. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, next time on Grand Theft Auto V, we're actually going to be hanging out with our friends. So, I'm going to be Franklin hanging out with Lamar, and I'm going to be Michael hanging out with Trevor and Franklin. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, I definitely am. And yeah, that's, that's it for now, guys. So, I will see you guys then.